In today's video, we're going to be finishing Space Island. Exciting stuff today, guys. We're going to waste no time. We're going straight into teleporting these monsters. Who do we send first, guys? I think we go with Pom Pom. Look at her vibing in the teleporter up there. All right, Pom Pom, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to say goodbye to the continent because we're sending you straight to space. <laughs> She's singing here. Pom Pom literally just became a lead singer. Yo! Oh, then we got the solo. Guys, I remember I was hating on this solo at first. And then you guys gave me assurance in the comment section below that I was going to end up liking it. And you guys were not wrong. This solo goes so hard. But wow, guys, I was not expecting Pom Pom to sound like that. I'm a little upset that we don't get more of her because I do like Pom Pom, bro. But I like that they're using her on this island in a different way compared to her on other islands. All right, cool, guys. We're going to keep this video flowing. Let's head back on over to the continent. And as you guys can see by the teleporter here, I literally got all of these monsters ready. They're all level 10. So you guys don't have to watch any boring footage in this video. Y'all just get to watch me react to all these new monsters for the first time. Thank you for your service, baby Pop Belly. Get the fudge out of here, though. <laughs> Oh, his melody is oh, just way more sped up. <laughs> Something I also just noticed, guys. I don't know if I'm just clueless and I haven't seen this earlier, but Potbelly, watch him here. He actually comes out of the pot. You see, you can see his roots like bounce up there. Yoy! <laughs> cool, guys. Even Potbelly, man. No matter how small our sounds, guys, all of these accents, they add up. They end up overlaying once you have the final song. They just create an overall great melody. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and keep it flowing. You guys know the deal. Who do we teleport next? Let's go with Kongo. I feel like I haven't heard this monster in forever. It's like you get him towards the beginning of the game, like on all the base islands and my singing monsters, like Plan and Cold. And then he just goes away, man. So I don't ever hear from Kongo anymore. I'm sure another drummer is going to sound great on this island, though. Oh, Kongo comes in during the solo. We got to hear all these guys. Dude, he's matching like the vibe that DJ is giving us. Dude, I was sitting here waiting on his sound to kick in forever. And I thought he literally wasn't going to come in. But then we get the solo and here he is grooving. Awesome, man, dude. I actually do like him there. I think he adds that extra element to that part of the song. That was very needed. So that's good. Next in line, guys. Who should we go with? Hmm. I think we're gonna go with Floa. I typically end up liking Floa's sound, so I'm sure whatever they decide to do with him here is gonna be a great decision. All right, Floa, let's see what you got for me. There he is. And it seems like they're keeping this like ancient kind of tribe vibe with him, which I'm okay with, guys. That's what Flo is known for. Even though they do tend to do some crazy stuff with him on some other islands. Don't get it twisted. He can always pull something out of his back pocket. But I actually, I don't mind his traditional sound. Even though I'm not going to lie, he doesn't do that much for us here. <laughs> if we didn't have him on the island, as far as I'm concerned, the island would still be great. You know, I'm not hating on Floa, but that's just what I feel. Hold up, guys. I have some goals to collect up here. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, we have some monsters that have thankfully saved us a little bit of diamonds, which I'm very appreciative of. Who should we go with next? Um, I'm thinking Clamble, guys. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Clamble is known to be a pretty underwhelming monster, so my expectations are pretty low for him. I don't know, though. I, they could shock me here. Let's go in and just place him down and find out. Oh my gosh, dude. I didn't realize how tall Clamble was. Holy cow, dude. He's like six foot tall. Okay, yeah, just like I thought. We're kind of getting like a little dish sound. Nothing too extraordinary. There he is. He came in again. A little upsetting, guys. I wish they would have like some kind of better sound with him. Like I almost wish he would shake that dish around and be like... I don't know, guys. I'm not a sound developer. Something like that might have been a little cooler, though. Okay, he heard me say that. He's talking back now. Okay, guys, we have four monsters left. I think we're gonna go ahead and go with Tring here. Yet again. Okay, guys, this video is kind of turning into a negative video, but we're just having a bunch of underwhelming monsters back to back to back. And guys, I'm not gonna lie. Tring is not, he's not gonna do much for us here. There's no way. All Tring normally does is just kind of smack that symbol on his nose and give us another light accent. So we just, we can't really expect much here. <laughs> there he is with that thing. And I'm pretty sure that's all we're getting from him. You know, normally I don't mind. Like, I know we need some monsters to have those lighthearted sounds that aren't, like, too prevalent in the songs. But it just stinks whenever that kind of monster is your four element. Guys, I had to get so much food to get him on that space island just for him to go... Like, bro, dude, they're killing me. All right, guys, next in line, we're gonna go ahead and get Pummel here. Yet again, another drummer, guys. I'm not gonna lie, our song is getting pretty populated with drummers. I wouldn't be surprised if they throw Pummel in during that solo kind of part of the song as well. That would just add another element that would probably fit right in perfectly. Guys, something I like about Pummel is he has his own unique kind of drumming sound. 
It almost sounds like he's hitting like a tin building. It's not your traditional drumming sound. It still doesn't change the fact that he doesn't really do too much for the song. Unless he ends up coming in during that solo. He's kind of just been kind of lightly working in and out. Okay, yep. I'm hearing crickets over there from Pummel. It looks like that's all we're gonna get from him. It's all good though, guys, because I'm pretty sure we have two banger monsters that are gonna really help develop the song. That is at least according to you guys in the comment section. You have all been hyping Stog up, saying that he's gonna come in during that solo and just transform everything. So you guys are you guys are putting my hopes up very high. Let's go in and get him sent on over to the island and see if you guys are capping or not in the comment section. Oh, whoa. we're getting like a radio frequency sound from him. Oh, we're not even on the solo, and he's already doing pretty good. It's hard to explain that sound. It's like a... Oh, dude, I do like it, though. Oh, now he's changing the vibe up. And it sounds like he's doing a more traditional stog sound. I like him kind of going off in that other part of the song, though, and sounding a little weird. Oh, there he is. It's kind of like prickly almost. It's hard to describe that sound. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, guys, here we go. Let's see if he comes in during the solo. Oh, I hear him up there. Hold up, we gotta zoom in, guys. Okay. Nothing crazy, but we are getting that stock sound. And it does blend in pretty well with these guys. Oh, wait, the song's resetting. So wait, Stog comes in with the, at the very beginning with Noggin. Ah, cool, okay. Uh, guys, everyone cut off and it was just Stog and Noggin. And I was like, wait a second. Are we about to get something else? And I didn't realize that the song was actually looping. Interesting, guys. Okay, you know what? Overall, I do like Stog here. I think he does add that interesting new element to our space island that kind of sews everything together. All right, guys, here we are for our final monster, Candle Oliveira. And guys, she is notorious for having a beautiful voice. So I'm sure that nice, beautiful falsetto, she's probably going to come in and be like, hi. It's probably gonna sound way better than that, okay? But <laughs> let's place her down on the island and find out. There she is kicking in. Just like I thought. Oh. Again, guys, with Kendall Avera, we typically get that really gentle sound. It sounds like almost like it's so innocent. And it's, it's, I don't know why I'm thinking of like a very thin sound. It's hard to explain, guys, but it's like a flame almost. Oh, I just now made the connection. That's what she sounds like. Oh, dude, how cool, man. But here we are, guys. I believe this is all of our base set of monsters for Space Island.